All right. Got them to go back into the neighbor's barn. I will drop off the bucket of food in there for them. And hopefully they stay in there tonight. Hopefully this venture out into the wild has made them just kind of want to make this their home. And they'll dart off. There they are right there. Hey guys. Don was peeing. <laughs> I'm going to drop your guys' food off. You guys are good in here. If you guys stay in here, I'm a happy guy. they're gone but out back here as his leads it's all fenced in for the most part I mean not for these guys these guys get out of everything but it's fenced in back there for the most part and more importantly oh there's no way you guys can see me in here more importantly as I walk out of here it's they can come in here stay away out of the shelter out of the storm and Oh, it is gorgeous. And that's where I need them to be for the time being so I can get them trapped in. The longer I can get them staying in just one spot, I think, the better. Uh, there's no keeping them trapped at this point. Not until I get more stuff here. And then I need more people, too. <laughs> I need to get some hands on deck. little update goats are officially back in the barn that I at least want them in and not running around my front yard and going back and forth between front yard into our north hill and crossing this road uh, it's funny I say it's all busy and I've been out here running goats back and forth across this road for about an hour and no one's driven by but I swear every time I come out here to go to the barn or to do anything someone drives by which i don't really care about but it's a little surprising out here that silo is ours as well that's going to be quite the restoration project that barn right there as well but it is leaning hard so i'm probably going to contact some amish in the area and get a quote from them to see how much it would take to get it repaired and leaning straight again because behind there let me see. Behind this barn over here is a giant field. Hard to see it, but it's a big pasture back here. And then behind our house, I oh, can't see it, there's a, the biggest pasture. And then past this light pole through here is another smaller pasture. And then over here, across the creek or uh, stream, there is a larger pasture back there. And then way in the back is the creek. And there's two streams. So this north hill has got two different streams that come down both sides of it that feed into the, the creek way down at the back. And they stay flowing. Uh, it's August and everything is moving. Crazy amount of water. Crazy amount of rain. Uh, it's wild. I mean, even now we've got fog that comes through this valley during the evenings and the mornings. It's really nice. It starts making you think about uh, what, what potentially you can start growing out here. You know, what kind of cash crops. I know back in the day, this was a, a big area for tobacco farming. And inside those buildings down there, the one to the, the bottom right, uh, was actually a tobacco processing building. And it's pretty cool. I'll take you guys in there at some point and we'll, we'll check out some of the old processing tools that they used for the tobacco leaves. It's pretty neat stuff, but all right, that's it for today. Uh, fingers crossed the goats stay in the barn at least a couple more days. Uh, 
they're getting kind of brazen. So we'll see how this goes. All right.